I'm gonna name a a name, and you give me uh, your idea on this on this this player here, Jordan Reed. Ooh, uh, excellent player when healthy. Not sure he'll ever be healthy again. Missed an entire year last season with a concussion. That's scary. I mean, he'd be the kind. He might be the kind of guy who gets another contract, goes into the team, suffers one more concussion, and then retires. Oh yeah. So I think he's like on the brink. But if you look at his numbers, ooh, one of the better receiving tight ends of the past decade. And so Kyle he, Shanahan drafted him and developed him. Sean yeah. McVay used him. Like he had a year where he had like 950 yards and 11 touchdowns. Yep. He's not a, a fast downfield guy like George Kittle, but he would compliment Kittle because he's the kind of guy who gets open under underneath 10, 11 yards, but always gets open. Like He, he catches like 75% of his targets. He's a quarterback's best friend, a security blanket, a possession receiver. He's fantastic. He'd make the Niners so much better. And I, I don't see why they wouldn't. Well, I can see why they wouldn't, but he'd definitely be worth like a $3 million one-year contract that's not guaranteed. Yeah. But how can the Niners give out contracts like that when when they're not giving a, a penny to George Kittle or, or Raheem Mostert? They're in a tough spot. There it is. Tough. Well, I, I'm not going to lie. I think this is our year that we have to do it. I'm, I think after this year, then, you know, we, we're going to take a step back. Regardless of how we feel as Niner fans, we have to just be, be honest. So if we're going to go all in, I, I would tell some players like, hey, we, we're about to go all in. We, we're trying to win the Super Bowl this year. Like this, take a pay cut. Here, have to take a pay cut. Yeah, I mean, from what know. I've heard, the Niners act. And things don't leak out of that organization, so it's all secondhand from other agents and stuff like that. But from what I've heard, they're actually the Niners are actually asking players to take pay cuts because they're trying to get Jamal Adams. They're trying to work these things out, and they, they I mean, they understand. You, you don't build for a, a long-term dynasty in the NFL necessarily. It's not like basketball. You have a Super Bowl window, and it doesn't last forever. You mm -hmm. need to win when you have the window because God knows if you'll get another one. So if you had to pick a guy on a team that should think about taking a pay cut, who would that be? Jimmy Garoppolo. But he's not going to. He's not going to. Yeah. He makes a lot of money. Yeah. It'd be easy for him. I mean, Tom Brady used to do stuff like that. Instead of me making $27 million this year, how about I make 22 That's still <laughs> a lot of money. Still the highest paid player on the team. But now we got $5 million more. We can get Jordan Reed. We can make... George Kittle happy. We can make Raheem Mostert happy. Usually it's the quarterback who makes that. I mean, who would you ask to take a pay cut? I, I'm not going to lie, man. I, I was, I'm not, I know they already, the Jed has already been talked to. Already did it. Already did it. Yeah. He, he's already did it. But I if got you, a name. If you, I was, I was, I was looking at, I was looking at some of our offensive linemen or defensive linemen. I mean, they're, they're a guy. That was, that's what I was going to say. I didn't want to say, <laughs> hey, we just signed you, but. No, I didn't want to say that, but it's like I thought about it, and I'm thinking like, man, it, you know. Well, D Ford would be a natural. He doesn't play, but I don't think he's going to give the Niners a break. Well, he no. he, he, he knows he's going to get cut next year anyway, probably. So he's going to get every dime he can, I would. Yeah, and I, and I think that, uh, but we need him, though. How uh, about Richard Sherman? Hmm. Hey Richard, I can see that? I don't. Would I don't take a three million dollar uh, pay decrease. It would never happen. It would never happen. Jimmy Ward, <laughs> another guy they just signed. I yep. know. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's like a couple guys in there. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I like John Lynch. I like what he's doing. So I, I won't. You know, I, I believe in yeah. the process. So I'll let them handle that. <laughs>